Alex Sanchez, defense attorney. I guess you heard that menu. I don't guess anybody brought you cereal, toast, coffee, and fruit this morning, did they? Or maybe spaghetti, salad, bread, and milk for your lunch. And if you're going to have dinner after the show, chicken casserole, rice, veggies, dessert, and milk. Nobody brought me anything on a tray. You know, uh, you know, no matter which way you cut it, Nancy, being in jail is not a great place to be. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you keep touching upon an issue, but you're not going into the significance of it. And that is why in God's name would the mother somewhat disguise her relationship with this guy? They're oh, telling the police initially that she's, he's an acquaintance of hers. We're finding out from third parties that maybe he had a romantic relationship or that he even lived in the house. Isn't that a significant issue which should cause the police to ask questions of her? Okay, so I, I'm just going to go with you, Sanchez. I'm going to agree with you that the mother did not tell everybody she had dated this guy. Okay. Where has that got me? Other than the mother who has not eaten a bite since her daughter went missing, who is, can't even stand up right now. She's in such grief. So she dated him. Now, where does that get me? Where you is know, that I, advanced listen, the investigation? I, Unless you're saying the mom is somehow involved, and I, if you're saying that, you can tear his mic off right now. No, I am not saying that. I'm saying that it raises a question in my mind, as it should raise a question in your mind. A question how as come to information wasn't clear and upfront from the beginning, just like this girl's father was I know, asking but before. Even if it's true, and I agree with you, Sanchez, you, you're preaching to the choir right now. She should have given it up at the get-go. I've got her on tape saying he was an acquaintance. All right, fine. So she hid the fact that she had dated him. Now, where does that have me? Well, the, How have the I next, advanced the search well, for Gabby? Or well, have tell you I? Something. The next or am issue, I focusing on the mom for no reason? No, the next issue is that you said there was there was no evidence that the house had been broken into. Well, that would that could two conclusions can be drawn for that. Number yes. one, somebody had access to that house and went right. in and took her. The second conclusion is that she left her on her own volition. Well, and what I'm about not, the blood? Yeah, you but you know start what? The, 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 only, blood, the blood Sanchez, the is blood. important. But I'd like to know whether or not the police have been able to age that blood. I mean, was the blood there, you know better not than there, me. shortly before she left? You know she as left? well as me that you can't date DNA. But I, I, bet the, I bet they know whether it had completely dried or not. I'm going to ask the sheriff, Sheriff Lott, uh, you know where this is going, all right, that the mother, that somehow they're hiding something. Other people had seen Gabby in the t hours leading up to that night, so it's not as if she's been missing for two weeks. The mom's just telling us now. But he wants to know, how do you know the blood was recent, Sheriff Lott? It was fresh blood. You could visible to your eye to tell it was fresh blood. And the mom never concealed the fact that she had dated him. You know, but her description was an acquaintance, not as a boyfriend. But she never hid the fact that she had dated him. So that's, that's a moot point as far as we're concerned. Okay, and you know, Sheriff, there's so many side alleys you can run down and chase down, but the reality is, is that we know she was alive that night. It was, there are independent sources that know Gabby was there and alive that night, not just the mom. We know there's blood there, but here's the... Here, 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 here's the home run, knowing that it was forcible, the blood in her home, and isn't it true, Sheriff Lott, that there is DNA in his home of Gabby's? That's correct. And in multiple places, not only on the duct tape, which also had Gabby's hair and blood, but her DNA was found other places in his house also.